And back here at the live desk with our continuing team coverage of election night 2009, the 19th state Senate seat covering Calhoun and most of Jackson County is being decided tonight. Four candidates on the ballot, but tonight to replace Mark Schauer, who won a seat in Congress last November, it is Republican Mike Knopf's being declared the winner tonight. 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Albin has been following this race very closely and tells us why it matters so much. On one hand, it's important because it is a seat that goes from Democrat to Republican. But remember, in Calhoun County particularly, they have a bit of a history for that. Joe Swartz, a Republican, had this seat before Mark Schauer. They've had three different U.S. congressmen in that district in three different cycles. And one of the House seats down there has switched from Democrat to Republican back to Democrat. So all of this is a little changeable in the area. But here's the big news. In one year, one year from tonight, we'll be talking about all 38 of those Senate seats and 110 House seats that will be up for a vote. That class of House and Senate members will redraw the lines, redistricting after the census next year. Michigan is going to lose at least one U.S. House seat because of loss of population. So whoever controls the House and Senate along with the governor will redraw those lines. As we move forward, the pundits are going to be looking at these races I talked about earlier in Virginia, and they'll look at them in New Jersey, and they'll even look at this one here in Michigan to see if this points towards what's going to happen in 2010. But the real story is this is kind of like a poll. It's a snapshot of a moment in time. A lot will happen between now and next year's election. All right. Rick, thank you for that.